13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh, God, I'm so stressed. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! I'm back, baby. I'm back and I'm not in focus. You all so nearly f***ed it. <laughs> <laughs>we're missing the fireworks, we're missing the footage. Why do we all decide to start vlogging at the same time? Again. Have we missed it? We're back, we're back. Uh, no, there's, there's, there's still one there. Go, 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 go. Yeah. There's a, a, a sky's on fire, it's over, isn't it? But we're all together. And that's what and matters. You know what, Tom? It's about old friends. Oh, oh, happy new year. Oh, oh dear. Oh. We were vlogging! <laughs> that is I hate I'm no. sick of being alive. I'd love to see a firework. I reckon they're really nice. So today is January 1st, New Year's Day, which means it is mine and Charlie's seventh anniversary. Uh, yes, I asked her out on January 1st, thought it would be fun. Mostly just means you're hungover on your anniversary. This time we're not hungover, uh, we're just ill. So we're not really doing anything to celebrate it, uh, other than seeing off our friends who are here for a little quiet New Year's. Because we're like old now. I'm old now. And don't, I don't want to go to parties and have a crazy time. I want to go to bed at a reasonable hour and all my bones hurt. Why am I vlogging again? Because I wanted to update you on life. I wanted to show you how things have changed, how they've stayed the same, how they've improved, all that stuff. I wanted to share some more time with you because I miss you and you know people come up to me and they say I really loved last week and last month and it was this like comfort show for me and I feel kind of bad because boy howdy was my mental health terrible for those three years I was not in a good way and I would like the opportunity to show you a, a different me that's hopefully the other side of that black cloud let's see how it goes shall we ba, 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 ba. Chihuahua. Is there a chance you want a Chihuahua, Charlie? I really want a Chihuahua. Well, dude. bad news, babe. It's a one in, one out system. Give me the poo poo paper. Give it to me, the poo poo, -poo paper. Oh, poo poo paper. Help. Let's see, do you want over 40 hot milfs? Best of over 40 hot milfs. Best of 50 plus, best of 60 plus. Or do you want Warhammer 40k? I want Warhammer 40k. That's valid. Speaking of things that have changed. Where is she, man? She's no, she's no longer to be found. She's no longer with us. Do you know about Blippi? What the fuck is Blippi? There's like a video of him pooping on people. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Oh, no, don't aim it at me, though. Why would I aim it at you? Because you've done it several times. That's literally not true. That's demonstrably false. <laughs> Oh, me! Jesus wow. Christ! That shit was ready to go. There's nothing to film. Are you sure? I don't think so. Oh, no. Let's watch you do a bad ball, then. Excuse the fuck me! <laughs> it's a perfect paw. I can't believe we're doing this again. Big jizz! Big jizz! Uh. So to give myself the best possible chance I can at having a productive, successful year, I'm trying to spend the last few days before we get back to work getting things sorted, uh, clearing through to-do lists, uh, including sorting all my files, setting up my new computer, cleaning my office. Really exciting admin stuff, but the hope is that if I clear that out of the way, I, I'll just be able to focus on making stuff uh, this year because I don't know if you noticed, I didn't really make anything last year. I think I put out like three videos on my main channel and the bare minimum on this one. So it's like, come on man, let's, 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 let's try a little harder this time. All right, my files are all sorted. If you wanna know how sort of crazy my system is, uh, this is what my photographs folder looks like. You can go to any year, you can go to any month, and every file will be named with the people in the photo, uh, any other significant information like what we were doing, where we were, and usually at least the city that we were in. And yeah, this is how I keep all my files sorted so I can find anything I want uh, at a moment's notice. I also have all this raw footage. Ooh. One thing that desperately needs to get done if I'm gonna have any chance of a productive year is to get this office tidy. In our old office, we regularly hosted parties and events and meetings, and we had a reason to keep it clean, at least sometimes. This one's just in the back of my garden, so it's just like a, like a 
teenager's bedroom. It's a dumping pile for props and costumes and scripts and everything. It's unbearable in here. Okay, new computer, new monitor, new keyboard and mouse. How, how do I turn it on? Computer, go. Okay. What? Yo, it be glowing. Maybe I shouldn't have that on top of it. That makes it go faster. Oh yeah, you're right. Let's go. L let's go. Please, please, please go. Why aren't you going? What do you mean nine hours? What do you mean? Oh, look at how she is sitting. Such a dainty lady. <laughs> do you like Pink's uh, head? Nub. She got an ingrown or a scar and it just turned into this and, and the vets won't do anything about it and it doesn't cause her any pain so that's just a feature of the dog now. Lumpy girl. Lumpy girl. Hello and welcome back to Baking with Tom Scar. Today we won't be baking a tiramisu because you don't bake a tiramisu. Hey Squidge, no one asked. Apparently we're putting 400 milliliters of double cream. Charlie, what happens when you eat double cream? Uh, shit and fod. You shit and fod. And what's your favorite dessert? <laughs> this dessert we're making. So, that's great. Uh, what, a choice, what a choice we are actively making. We have got 250 grams of mascarpone. Who puts a mask on a pony? Some kind of sex pest. What is this? 75 milliliters of masa masala. All right, we'll dump that in there. This is a, a whiny kind of thing. And that makes five tablespoons. Oh, Pinky, you've decided to join us. Thank you so much. Now, we whisk. How do you whisk? I literally do not know. That seems thick and creamy and combined. All right, now we make some extremely strong coffee. Yummy. Pour some coffee in a little bowl. So it wants me to soak these bad boys. Boudoir. Boudoir. That's French for sex hole. Nope. All right, now we've got a layer of soggy lady fingers. Mm -hmm. I don't like that name. Now I'm gonna put in half of my mixture mm -hmm. on top. It wants me to grate 25 grams of dark chocolate. I got 30 grams of chocolate curls, which is dark milk and white. So it's not great, but who cares? This is the technical way of doing it. Yeah. All right. Did you learn a lot as a chef? Yeah, I'm a big chef boy. I watch the menu. We've got another layer of lady fingers down. Now it's time for a final layer of cream. Wow. Well, there's a better way to do this, actually. I feel like I should I should have used a little sieve or something. But yeah. you know what? You know what? You it's... get the basic idea. All right. Let's see how the fuck we did. Oh, that kind of worked, yeah. Almost. Yummy, yummy cake for me and nobody else. Oh, so sad. I have got cake on my camera. <laughs> I went into central London to go to a screening that was being hosted by my old friend Tim. He'd uh, moved away to LA about eight, nearly nine years ago to like start taking filmmaking really seriously. And he's come back with a film, a whole ass film he's made called uh, Me, Myself and the Void. And it's good. And it's, it's just awesome. I'm so proud of him. Tim moved away at the same point that I moved to this house, which also kind of marked not the end of a lot of friendships, but a kind of shift in, in, in my life. You know, I moved some 10 miles away from a lot of people I, I know. And in, in places like America, I'm sure that's not that far. But in London, you know, 10 miles away, the other side of London can put about an hour and a half between you and other people. So, you know, going to the screening and seeing all these old faces was, was really special. And we went back to one of our old haunts the, the montague pike pub and it was just interesting thinking about like how much time has gone on and it just kind of reminded me that it's important to document things you know part of the reason i'm doing this is because i want to remember stuff but a lot of these faces that you know i was seeing were people that i think i probably would have forgotten were enough for the fact that i do make an effort to take photographs and memorize everything so yeah film stuff take photos Back them up, keep them safe, because you'll suddenly find yourself a lot older than you thought you were. And uh, you'll probably want to be able to look back on and remember the good old days. Because you don't realize you're in them when they're happening. You really don't. Oh, you're getting vlogged up. <laughs> oh, we're so silly. We're so silly. We're so silly. <laughs> Give me a little peace sign. Oh my gosh, so cool. Punk rock girl. Do it to him. That was good, actually. Amy, I'll I'll edit it. I'll edit it. It's cool. All right, go, Charlie, go. Wow. Let's 
go, dude. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was good. Actually. Hey, Tom. Hmm? Do you feel good about that? Yeah, uh, I'm professional, actually. Yeah, that looks good. Mmm, <laughs> birthday juice. I'm going to vlog a strike. Here we go. Just take my word for it. That was a, that was a crazy strike. That was a crazy strike, guys. Don't do this. Don't do this. Cookies. You don't have to do this. It's okay. No. Oh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Go, Charlie. Go, Charlie. Oh, what a throw. Wow. I've been doing very, very badly, and it took me getting a strike for people to come up and ask me for a photo. So I'm glad they saw me at my best. <laughs> I beat you. Celebrating birthdays in your 30s is weird, especially when you're part of a group of almost exclusively childless millennials, because we're like old, I guess, but we're really immature about it. So, you know, we, we, we feel a bit too old to go out and get drunk and, and crazy, but we also don't want to, you know, necessarily eat cheese and drink wine and talk about politics and the economy. So instead we're doing really childish things, but like as fairly old people, like going bowling and eating chicken nuggets, because we can now. Because no one's stopping us, we can just do what we want. And I just don't know how I managed to feel so incredibly immature and so crushingly old at the same time. It is a, a, an impressive balancing act <laughs> of just neither here nor there. I'm 32. I started last week when I was 25. If I want to have a productive year of making lots of videos, we probably need to write those videos. We have something like four or five scripts kind of just floating around that we've written over the years, but we need more. And so the first place I'm jumping to is nice and easy, sequels. There's some videos we could do sequels. We could do a confession four. We could do Baby with Gun three. We could do the whole two. Two hold too big. You know, there's options. I got a little gaming PC. It's, I don't know how to game, but I got it. Thanks, overclockers. I paid for it. <laughs> The new new tagline. <laughs> that's my that's that's... PCs. You will buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so then I said, "Yeah, that's not my wife. That's my wife." Because the joke that I said earlier, but now we're we're going back over it because I'm filming. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> No one should have to be up at 6 a.m. Except for a one specific McDonald's delivery driver. Fun train fact. This is the longest train platform in England. What a, what a fun train fact. So we're all the way up in Gloucester. Uh, so Charlie can get a sleeve tattoo at Mount Moon. Tattoos. Like, the, like you're from Pokemon. I haven't vlogged in a long time, all right? I'm slightly rough at this. <laughs> oh, man. I need to buy presents for all 14 of my friends. And oh. Oh, fantastic. Ever since doing my Thomas and Friends video, I keep an eye out for Thomas and Friends toys, just because I don't know. I just, I want some. And if, you know, even if I don't want them, I might send them to Lockie, who has helped me with the Thomas and Friends and Tugs video, just because. Yo. <laughs> Yo, we found them. See you around then. Dun, 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 oh my dun, god, dun. we got doggies, we got flowers. Oh, look at my scab. We got scabs. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, it's very beautiful, isn't it? Uh. Thank you. I'm sorry. So I'm currently heading to Dublin for Megacon, my first convention of the year. And I went to the Bureau de Change to get some money out because if I happen to sell any merch, if any arrives, I might need to give people change. So I went up to this lady and I said, uh, How many five euro notes do you have? Uh, she's like, 30? And I was like, I'll take all of them. And she's like, oh, okay. I get what this is. And I'm like, what? She's like, it's for tipping, isn't it? Oh, honey, it's not for strippers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Welcome to the Tom Scott table. Hope you like posters, because we have three of them and absolutely nothing fucking else. Woo! Oh, my God, Eddie, you made it. What? No, get out of here! You get, it. you get out of here! You get out of, you get out of! Here. Guys, I'm fucking irrelevant now. What are you doing here? Get a hobby. Mr. Tom Scott! Ah! 
So MegaCon Dublin was nice as far as events go. It was pretty uneventful. You know, when I'm standing there at, a, at my table at any convention and I look out into the hall, it looks the same pretty much wherever I am in the world. It's the same kinds of stalls selling the same kinds of things. The only thing that really changes are the people and they were lovely. No stories to really tell. The only thing that really happened that stood out at the event was midway through my Q&A. When I'm on stage and there's a couple hundred people in the audience, this little old man just kind of wanders in front of me, between me and the audience, looking very lost and confused. And I don't really know what to do in this situation. And he, and he kind of just turns to me and he's like, where am I supposed to be? I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. What's happening here? And it's like it's this mortifying experience of like, oh God, Oh, I don't know what to do in this situation, even if I weren't on stage in front of an audience midway through answering a question about, you know, whether I'd like to fight a duck-sized horse or a horse-sized duck. You know, before I can really do anything about it, he kind of just wanders off into the crowd and I feel just like awful about this for the rest of the day. And it's not until the end of the day when someone just comes up to my table and is like, Oh, it was so funny when Sylvester McCoy showed up to your panel and all of a sudden it makes sense because Sylvester McCoy is one of the guests. He's, 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 he's you know, one of the Doctor Whos. He was talking to me thinking that I was the MC, I was the host of his Q&A, which he had arrived to 15 minutes early. So his question's like, I don't know what I'm doing here, what am I, who, who am I looking for? That makes sense now. It was all just this big miscommunication. But to be fair, he was, he was supposed to have a handler with him that would have like taken him where he was supposed to go. So he was, in a sense, genuinely lost and confused. But I was no help in that situation, and I just feel... I went from feeling bad to just feeling kind of stupid because I didn't recognize him. But don't worry, we bumped into each other on a lift going to our hotel rooms at night, and the door wouldn't close because I was a bit too close to it, and it, he made a joke about it being because of my fat ass, which is fair, even though my, my ass isn't actually that fat. It's kind of flat, actually. It's a problem. Belts won't stay up. What am I talking about? Megacon was good. I'll be back next year if they'll have me. <laughs> For therapy. There's something very funny about coming from a convention where people have essentially paid money to meet me and then me giving that money to someone so I can talk about how that made me feel. <laughs> it's weird. It's the first time I've actually like had a therapist since I really started doing cons. And when I unpacked like what goes into that, you could just see that she was like, Jesus Christ. So some of you may remember a comic I wrote called Tom Scar is Sad, uh, specifically with the subtitle The Cycle, which was about sort of unhealthy coping mechanisms that I had uh, when going through, you know, the deepest um, parts of my mental illness. And I actually always wanted that to be sort of a, a three or four part series. Um, kind of looking back on on my experiences with with mental illness um, I had a few volumes one was called uh, kill yourself which was all about suicidal ideation one was called bad egg which was all about sort of self-loathing and then there was another one which was maybe going to be about grief I really wanted to make them but as my mental health improved I found it harder to tap into what it was actually like and to ac accurately uh, convey it and for better or for worse, I, I found it a little easier lately to sort of remember those feelings and it's making me want to try to, you know, pick up this comic because even though they're supposed to be stories from when I was making last week, basically, like how I was back then, um, I still want to, I still want to capture it and immortalize it and, and share it because, it, you know, if nothing else, you know, it can maybe provide some solace to people who are going through the same thing. But, you know, also I just like to turn that experience into something, you know, something other than just this vacuum that sucked up years of my life. I'd like to turn it into art, something somewhat useful. Yeah, so I've had an idea for uh, for the, the one Kill Yourself, um, you know, where I might try to take that, 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 that little voice uh, that was in my head and, and like try to, you know, personify it in, in like an updated version of, of my old um, animated OC counterpart, Dark Squidge. I wouldn't say his name in the comic because it's a silly name, but um, I think he could be like a lanky Tumblr sexy man with all white eyes and stuff and a top hat. And he's like, you should kill yourself and, and, and kind of use that to represent the internal monologue you know, that I was having, internal dialogue that was like, you should do it. I don't want to. You, sh you could do it like this. Okay, but what about this? Well, what about this? You know, 
that back and forth that was going on for a very, very long, exhausting time. We'll see. Ah, nothing quite like spending hours at accident and emergency trying to figure out if your girlfriend's wrist is broken, only for them to tell you it's probably RSI, refuse to give you an x-ray, and send you home. Oh well, at least we have hair dye! That makes everything better! <laughs> Why did I agree to this bit? You, you asked me to do this. This is... I don't know what I'm doing. You didn't hire a hairdresser. I'm the hairdresser's son, remember? Yeah, but I'm the teacher. You haven't taught me shit. Yes, I have. You literally said, put these gloves on and rub it into my hair. And are you learning? No! I haven't learned anything. I don't know what <laughs> order it's supposed to go in. I don't know, like, anything. <sighs> I don't know if I'm doing a good job. You are. I don't know if it's going to come out okay. Sure will. I just, this is what I'm doing now. This yeah. is my life now. Hey, God. <laughs> Hello, Papa. We oui, c'est baguette. So I've come up to Cambridge to my parents' new place to go cycling with my dad. During the pandemic, he brought me a very fancy uh, electric bike that I haven't really ridden much, mostly because I'm scared to. Because uh, I live in London, where there are so many cars and none of them drive well. They're all following satnavs, and I've been in enough Ubers where they've just turned because the satnav told them to and very nearly crashed. And I don't want to be at the receiving end of that because I don't bounce anymore. I don't hit the ground and just spring back up again. I, I just kind of hit it like a sack of potatoes and I'm worried that I'm going to kill myself. So hopefully this will get me some of that confidence back. I used to cycle so much. I used to cycle like 10 miles a day. I was skinnier then. You may be surprised to hear. Oh, hello, handsome boy. Big teeth. Yeah, I love that song. You have too many teeth. Do you ever think about that? Do you ever think that maybe you have too many teeth? Do I look like someone who would voluntarily go outside? Do I look well adjusted? I don't. Okay, let's go. I'm here at my old secondary school and it's weird. It's weird being back to here. I, I graduated here 17 years ago and while I was here I re was releasing the first ever things that I successfully put online such as an animation called Stupid Sticks which was like this minute long animated sketch that would later become the two minute gag new camera in Aston Movie 3. I uploaded it to Smosh.com back when Smosh was a, a flash animation website and a few years later it got deleted just lost time and that's kind of been the case for 19 years i haven't seen it in 19 years until this week when someone tweeted at me to say i found it deep buried into the archives of uh the internet on the wayback machine they found my first ever animation i mean i was so sure i would never see this thing again that it's at the very bottom of the uh tom scar iceberg video i did because it was gone and it's back now and it's rubbish obviously but it's so cool that it's back, that it's been preserved. Bike, bike, bike. I'm riding on my bike. I'm cycling through England and this is what it looks like. Well, it was a good bike ride. Got 16 miles in and then my pedal fell off. Uh, I feel like they're not supposed to do that. So of all the things I thought was going to go wrong, that wasn't on the list. But I'm alive. <sighs> no thanks to the bike. Mate. <laughs> Great. Oh, he is a little boy. He is big and very stinky. Ow, fuck that. My, those are my glasses. Oh my god. Oh my god, my glasses. No. Uh, why can't I do my beard like this? Oh, okay. I just got a very interesting phone call from Charlie, who is crying. What's happening? Oh, what? He's just having a nap. He's you reckon? Worried. Yeah, he's worried. Well, you know what, man? It's a good job I got one of these. <sighs> Oh God, please just don't start moving. You, you very dead, my guy? Yeah, you're very dead. Oh, don't touch me, don't touch I'm me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty clean, that yeah, was pretty clean. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> what the fuck? Ceremonious. I can't find any evidence of what happened to this bird. You know, there's there's no feathers everywhere. We found a speck of blood on the path and a bit by the dog door, which means that Pink definitely brought the bird in, but she's not telling us how she got the bird. So either she found a dead bird or she jumped in the air and just 
caught it and and broke its neck in one. We don't know. We <laughs> I don't understand this dog. She's an impressive one though. She just caught a rat a few months ago. Just caught it. It was just running up the garden. She went up. Oh, rat gone. That's London. Squidgy that is indecent. Oh, it's a squidgy. No. Oh, wow. We wow 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 wow. That's not a uh, good. So, how do we feel about that? January is done and filmed. Was it nice hanging out again, spending some time together? I had a good time. I'm tempted to do this, say, 11 more times, capture the year of our Lord 2023. It should be a good one. I think it'll be a nice year to do together. I just spent a whole Surfshark spawn's worth of money on a trip to Disney in April, so we have that to look forward to. But yeah, I I'm looking forward to sharing this year with you, you know, getting to know my life again and showing you what things are like now. And I hope you come along with me. So, uh, I'll see you last month. Hey you, thank you for the money. Hey you, thank you for the money. money. Hey you, thank you for the money. Hey you, thank you for the money. money. Hey you, thank you for the money. Thank you, patrons. We appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.